And welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix on this Wednesday evening. We've got local netball to talk about soon. Also the AFLW season start date and nothing good happens after midnight. And uh, just received a text from one of our sporting gurus, young Carl Carrington. Why haven't you mentioned about Man City? Um, Well, Carl, as a Liverpool supporter, don't want to. Uh, I'll get that off the bat straight away. And don't you go for Liverpool too? So why are you texting me about mentioning Man City on the Sports Fix? I suppose we should. Yes, they're they're now the... um, They won the Premier League. Yep. Okay. We've mentioned it. They've won the Premier League. Good on them. And they didn't even have to take to the field to do it because Leicester beat Man United, which is a good thing. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Carl, for sharing that information and reminding me all about it. And I thought you were a Liverpool supporter. Anyway, different code now. It's time to look at some local football with the Flowman, uh, starting in SA with the Air Peninsula and some Northern Leagues too. And in what was an interesting Great Flinders match was between United Yelana and Tumby Bay. Went to United Yelana, the, the champs of this uh, this league. It was 9-11, 1-25 7-8-50 over Tumby Bay. That is a comprehensive win. Cummins Capini did likewise to Air United 19-15, 1-29 to Air United 4529. But it is the first up win for the boys from Elliston Districts. They've come together as a club out of Midwest and have joined the Great Flinders and their adversary over at Lock 11874. Lock defeated by Elliston Districts 111480. A six point win, a magnificent win to the Elliston Districts. Their first this season as a amalgamated club for this league. It is a great effort for them. Rosalia with five goals. And King O'Loughlin booted two. Rosalia, Baskin, Paul, Barch, and Williams were the better players for the Elliston Districts. While it was Beard with six goals for Locke, he was their best player on the day. Moving our attention now towards Western Air, and it was built up as the match of the season, and it was just that at Penong. The West Coast Hawks from Streaky Bay region got up 14 8 92 to get up and beat Western United 11 13 79. It was a magnificent spectacle of football and a great fight back from the West Coast Hawks. They were trailing in the last quarter but it was a, a terrific fight back for them and Colbung with five and Smith with three. Dolling and Holmes a couple for the Hawks. Saw them home by a 13 point margin. It was Elliot with five and Scott and Woods with two for the Western United and Harley Chandler and Hofrika with their better players. Mark Dolling, Kilsch, R. Kilsch and C. Montgomery the better players for the West Coast Hawks. Heading towards the Blue Boys beating Thevenard in the arch rivals game, ten goals, twenty two eighty two to six four forty. Gee, the Blue Boys uh, didn't get their kicking boots uh, accurate at all, but the wins a win, as they say. See Williams with three and uh, Jurisovic and Miller with a couple of piece. It was Grills with two for the uh, boys from Thevenard, and finally, this was a magnificent win by Kniba seven fifteen fifty seven in a thrilling match over Wirral. 8-5-53 out at Wirrala and that is a magnificent match. A bit of rivalry between these two clubs but it was Miller the two Miller SNA V Graham and T Newchurch the better players for the Kniba club and I noticed that uh, Dudley uh, Jr. was on the Kniba side. Uh, I reckon there was a connection with him and Wirrala back uh, there and Watkinson with six for Wirrala Acklin and Watkinson were the better players along with Ryan Watson for their club. They'll be disappointed with dropping that match. I think they might have felt they might pick it up. The we were Bombers, but in the final analysis, Kniba got away with the win. Meanwhile, over in the Eastern Air, and it wasn't a win for the Central Air United boys. They took on the might of Kimber Districts and a bit of rivalry between these two already building, but it was Kimber Districts 15 17, 107 to Air and the Central Air United 5 2 32. The storm nailed here by more than 10 goals. Um, that to Kimber, just uh, a vastly better side on the day with, uh, with Joel Fitzgerald in seven. Seven goals from him, Rayson with three, and Clements, um, he's a very good footballer. Rayson and Maitland got amongst it for them. It was T Fitzgerald, another one of the clan, those Fitzgeralds with two for Central Air United, and it was J Stringer, C Waters and B Waters. Those are Waters boys, um, they are very good footballers. Just look out for them in the future, is what our correspondent here on the Friday Night Sports Show, Mr Jared Sampson, had to say about young Waters. The other match for Ports, 18-22, thrashing Cow four goals eight. We go to the northern areas and Crystal Brook 25 23 beat James St. Peterborough four goals six. And it was 10 goals to 
Forest Hill and eight goals to Shillipier for Crystal Brook. And while well, it was a big win from Broughton Mundura, 17-8-110 to Bulleroo and Milrose, Wilmington, 3-5-23. And finally, another one-sided game, Oruru, 16-6-102, thrashing Southern Flinders, one goal, 4-10. If you don't mind, the winning margins there, 143 points, Crystal Brook over Jamestown, Peterborough. It was a massive margin of 87 points, Broughton Mundura over Bulleroo, Melrose. And uh, it was a 92-point margin, Oruru over Southern Flinders. Uh, the last game we have for scores was in Far North Football. East Roxby kicked 10 10 70. Roxby District's just 10 behinds 10. Um, and that's all we have on that game. But uh, no score for Hornridge and Olympic Dam. So if you've got it, send it to us um, at our Flow Sports. So you can uh, interact with us at Flow FM Australia or Flow News 24 or simply news at flowfm.com.au on an email. Yes, please do. That's news at flowfm.com.au. Send through the email with any results and any other bits of pieces about sport, whatever they might be, send them through to us. We'll certainly appreciate them. Uh, the Flowman's going to continue looking at local football into southern New South Wales and uh, there's something about a club song that we need to... We'll, we'll, the Flowman will tell us more. The Farrah Football League, Northern Jets took on the Rock and Yarren Creek Magpies. It was the Magpies getting up 17 11, 113. The Northern Jets 10 9, 69 at Araya Park. Big win here by the Rock Yarren Creek. That's through with that, uh, particularly with Beerman. He booted six goals, Karen booted five, and Russell four. Three players were able to boot 15 of their total score there of 17 goals. That is three very good players. Amongst the better players were those three boys, plus um, they did name Hannam and Ridley as a couple of very good midfielders and defenders, uh, Hancock and Cool amongst them in their side. Wallace with three, and uh, he was the better player for the Northern Jets in their loss. was a big loss uh, to the uh, Rock Yarren Creek, who uh, kicked their finals hopes alive with that good win. North Wagga Saints 11-13, beating Burrell and four goals, two was a big win from the Saints. Meanwhile, the East Wagga Karingal Hawks got over the Collie Amberley Blues, 12-13-85 to a solid Blues outfit, 8 2 50 and uh, they weren't overly um, thrashed in this. And too many thought they might uh, not go well, but at their home deck, they're always put in a better performance. And they had Hillier with three goals for the uh, Blues. While it was Breed, Light, Hillier, and Badger, the better players for Collie Amberley. And while they didn't win, they put in a good showing against one of the top sides, the Hawks, in Farrah football. And finally, Mara Bombers, 18 goals, 24-132, beat Tamora, 7-4-46. Gee, if they had a kick straight, they might have kicked the cricket score here, but it was a good performance. Lawton with eight goals for Mara and Emery and Reynolds, their best players on the day. And in Riverina football, and Wagga Tigers get to the winning run, 13-8-86, to beat the Griffith Swans 9-10-64. Over at Griffith, gee, Griffith, I think, in a bit of bother there, and uh, Wagga Tigers trying to get their season back on track. Gee, the GGGM Lions, they got their season on track, 17-23, 1-25, they thrashed the Leeton Witten Crows, 4-2-26. You remember, 12 months ago, the Crows played in a grand final, uh, so great performance from the Lions. They've come out to play this year. Hamlin with three. Foley also booted three. Hamlin and Anderson and McCraig, the better players um, for the Lions. And they're pretty much celebrating over there uh, at that club at Genmain. And uh, Kuhlman Rovers took on the MCUE Goannas in uh, match of the round. And it was an absolute thriller. It was the Manglapa Cocodinia United Eastlake Goannas 12-11-83 to beat the Kuhlman Rovers 11-11-77. And a thriller encounter it was, was Ambler with three and Kendall with three for the Goannas. And D'Souza and Keo and Ambler were the better players. Redfern four, Glynn with three for Kuhlman and it was Oliver, Maslin and Atkin their better players on the day. And finally it was the Narandera Eagles 19-8-122 beating Colin Gully 9-11-65 and for all those that love a good statistic the Narandera Eagles had not won a game for 600 52 days. They didn't play in 2020. Their last win was on the 27th of July in 2019. In that season, they only won three games and on that day, they beat Colin Gully by one point. This time, nearly a 10-goal win over their arch rival. And when that happens after 652 days of not singing, the boys sung this.
Well done to the Eagles boys, and they sung it proud too, didn't they? Thank you, Flow Man, but don't go too far away because I need you back in the studios. We'll have a conversation with you and the Stat Man coming up soon. But the Stat Man, he'll be in the chair next. He's looking at local netball.